Sweltering summer nights can increase health risks and they're heating up in cities all across the country. Meteorologist Anthony Baglione joins us now to explain how much summer nights have warmed up over the past 50 years and why. Anthony. Ken, it's a very important trend here that we look at very closely, especially with our afternoon temperatures consistently going up as well. We've been talking about the sweltering heat here this weekend. The nighttime temperatures, though, play a key role as well, because if you get a warmer temperature, you can't cool off as much in those evening hours. This is the trend we have seen here. This is a climate central graphic does a great job of showing that trend line from 19 1970 up until 2022. This is across the entire United States. Those temperatures on average have warmed about 2.6. Let's call it three degrees here on average. You notice there are some uh, dips and some peaks there as you go forward in time, but that trend line, statistically speaking, where we take that best line value here kind of going up is certainly increasing. This is a look here at Raleigh Durham specifically as well. A little bit greater 4.3 degrees from that period. Notice that trend line again continues up. There are some valleys there, especially as you get closer here to that 2020 22 time, but on the whole, that's what we have been seeing here in this time period. We look at where we are headed this weekend. So what is the real world impact of this? We're talking feels like temperatures Saturday and Sunday during the afternoon, as Elizabeth has been mentioning over 100 degrees. And so if you have those temperatures in the afternoon, let's say you're out at eight, nine, 10 o'clock or so at night as well, you just can't cool off as well. So we're certainly paying very close attention to this, Jeff, and just make sure to stay hydrated here to avoid those heat related illnesses this summer. There's no doubt. It's just hot just looking at that. Anthony, thanks.